I want to know more about the economics field. Uh, economic development or sustainable development. How can they see the world and how can they like explore things? The precious opportunity to deeply talk with Nobel Prize economic winner, uh, Professor Merton. Welcome to the 2019 Nobel Perspective Live, a global live event. This is the fifth location that we held this event. We're very proud to bring it to Taipei. It's about how to improve things for all of us, design system, a way of organizing ourselves in society to get more resources to us in the best way. The challenge we're going to have is sustainability. Sometimes people say, all we have to do is get China and the United States to stop driving uh, gasoline-powered vehicles and you know, get rid of uh, coal burning, which is all a good idea, don't mishear me. But when you look at the numbers, that may not be good enough. Even if the developed countries all cut back, if others have not made it, and you now say, sorry, you can't develop because you're, you're gonna use, put too much carbon into the air, you see where that's going to be a problem. So it's very important to set the environment to be encouraging to uh, innovation. Innovation by its nature is change. And there, what goes with the innovation, since it's new, you have to try things out. And many of the ideas, maybe most of them, will fail. The fact that the experiment didn't work actually is information. You found out how not to do something. Regulators have a very tough time. They have to protect us. At the same time, if they're overly protective, if they say we can't take any risks, we'll never make any progress. It is not growth versus sustainability, doing the right thing versus making more money. Sometimes those are conflicts, no question. But don't take those as universal. And so if we can develop the technological progress, we can have both growth and sustainability. The technology that allows us to create batteries that are efficient and so forth so that we can have electric cars as a means of doing it. And it's a source of growth. How do you encourage people to explore, to take a risk, to take on structured situations, a situation where no one can teach you what to do because no one's ever gone there. So you have the tools to go and do exploration even though you know what is going to be there. No one can tell you what you'll find. And it's that kind of development of but teaching people how to deal with unstructured situations in a structured way. Like language. If you've learned a good language in a good way, learning a second language or a third one is a lot easier because you know the path. I am cautiously optimistic. I look out at all of you, for example, saying, here's a challenge to you. And I think you can handle it. I think we will handle it. We have in the past. But let's not be complacent and let's not look for instant, simple-minded solutions. Thank you, Mark, for excellent.